Our story begins with Phoebe on her way home after a year at college. Phoebe! What a surprise! I thought you were coming next week. So great to see you. How are you? Uh, I'm okay. But really tired. I just need some sleep. Uh, is it alright if we catch up tomorrow? Sure. You can have Mom's room upstairs. Anything else I can do to help? Thanks, but I just need to lie down. <sighs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Dropping out of college? Coming back home? What am I going to do now? If only I didn't injure my knee. If I could still play soccer, I could tolerate college. But now, it's like I'm nobody. It had been a hot night even for June when suddenly the coolness of the forest air began to drift in through the open window. The tension of a coming storm filled the air. Phoebe fell into a daze and began to dream. Wake up. You, wake up. This is for you. You must remember what I say. Everything's at stake. Everything is at stake. What is this? What? What is for me? Your time is coming. Everything is at stake. Everything. Where am I? The toy store. It's still there. Coffee shop. Everything is at stake. Everything. What a dream. What's happening to me? What does this all mean? Tomorrow. I have to go tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm going to get a job at the toy store and everything's going to work out. I can do this. I'm making this promise to myself. The room shone in the glimmer of the moon. And the world seemed to slow down. The storm had blown off and the rain had stopped. She felt transformed changed in some way she couldn't understand and was overcome with the sense that there was something important for her to do. A mysterious challenge waited just ahead. <sighs> oh, look. My mother's painting. This used to be our room. <laughs> I almost forgot where I was. Wow, this is amazing. Wait a minute, what is this painting? What is this? Scary, very scary looking. It's not by mom. It doesn't look like her painting. Fires cast shadows upon the people of Hidden Valley? A tragedy I will never forget? Scandals are secret, many lives lost, as if nothing happened? And it's signed by my grandmother, Patty Wallace? If only she were alive. Was Half Moon Valley ever on fire? I've got to talk to Mom and Dad. Hmm... What shoes are going to be my lucky pair for the day? Wow, 
I remember wearing this pair. We beat the Evansville Wildcats for the championship. We shut them out. I made the best saves in my life. The entire crowd was screaming and chanting my name. I need some of that luck today. Well, I guess I won't be needing my phone. Of course there still is no phone service near the forest. I don't think I'm crazy, but I do look different. Something's not the same. It's strange being back in Middletown. I feel like I'm in a new, almost different body. What was that song George used to sing? Face in the mirror Looks like a stranger Can't recognize myself today Mmm, Penny must be baking. It smells so good. Well, time to start this new adventure. This new chapter in my life. Phoebe joined her sister Penny on the back porch. Her dreamstone charm glowed in the bright sunlight. Phoebe and Penny had both received dreamstone charms in early childhood as gifts from their parents. Good morning, Penny. Morning, Phoebe. I hope you're feeling better today. Did you sleep okay? I feel a lot better. I'm really happy to be here. It's such a beautiful morning. I noticed some paintings in the room. Does mom still stay here? Mom and dad are staying at the greenhouse. So the room is yours. And by the way, that dreamstone charm you're wearing, keep it tucked under your shirt. And don't let anyone see it. Things are not what they seem to be around here. I usually do keep it under my shirt. But who cares if anyone sees it? People are looking everywhere for Dreamstone. And they're asking a lot of questions. Phoebe, don't give me that look. And don't go digging all this up. It's no laughing matter. Please, trust me. Keep your charm hidden for your own safety. Okay. So now Dreamstone is valuable, and now I have to hide it? This all seems so strange, and doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Come to think of it, when I was younger, I had the strangest experience. This man stopped me on Bridge Avenue and stared at my Dreamstone charm. Excuse me, young lady. May I ask a question about your charm? What? My charm? Yes. How did you get that charm? Uh, I don't know. You mean you are too young to remember? What's your name? It's none of your business. Who do you think you are? I want answers, young lady. And I'm going to get them. Phoebe, hello? Anybody there? You've got to be careful. Do you remember Milton Morphy? Well, he's back in town, and he's drilling everyone about Dreamstone. And I'm afraid he'll do anything to get it. Milton Morphy? Who's that? You might have been too young to remember him. Anyways, you're going back to college soon, so you won't have to worry about it. Not this year. Not without soccer. My knee can't take it. I can't do it anymore. What happened to environmental studies? I thought you were on a mission. I wish I was. I think I'll find one here. Phoebe realized that her conversation with Penny was creating more questions than answers. Dr. Bear! I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. And you can call me Geraldine. I'm your next door neighbor now. It's so nice to see you, Phoebe. You look just fine. A little older and more thoughtful. It's gonna be hard for me to call you Geraldine. 
You've been Dr. Bear my whole life. Well, anytime you're at Middletown Hospital or anytime you need me, I'll be Dr. Bear. But call me Geraldine when I'm just your friend. Okay, Geraldine it is. And speaking as a friend and a doctor, how's your knee doing? I'm on a sort of mandatory rest cure. No sports for months. Knee strengthening exercises and a knee brace. Sounds like good advice to me. I'm so happy to see you back in Middletown. I do hope you're going to stay a while. As a matter of fact, I might try something new. Maybe I'll find a job and make some money this year. My coach found me a job training a girls' soccer team at college, and I really liked it. That sounds like a great idea. By the way, your sister and I think your homecoming calls for a celebration. We want to have a party for you right here in the backyard. What do you say? Uh, I guess so. We've been wanting to get everyone together, and it's already planned for Friday night. Okay, I'll be there. Great. We're going to the 11 o'clock church service today. You should come with us. Reverend Tuck is going to talk about climate change. The flooding of the Half Moon River and the forest fire near Ridgewood have scared a lot of us here in Middletown. We're right next to the forest, and the river runs over Main Street after a thunderstorm. Many people don't want to hear about it. I'm sure there's going to be controversy. Reverend Tuck is going to need our support. This is important to all of us. Whoa, I had no idea. That must be quite a challenge for Reverend Tuck. I'll stop by and check it out. Geraldine and Penny left for the United Church of Middletown while Phoebe sat deep in thought. It seems like Penny isn't going to give me any answers. And Middletown? Affected by climate change? What can we do? I'm going to see if I can get a job at the toy store. Today. Right now. I'll figure it out as I go. All things reach out for the sunlight. The hand of life everywhere. Trees whisper through the leaves. Ways of peace fill the air. What's this? It's all Scudder Store. It's tripled in size. And the old professor's used books? Louis Pizzeria? They're all gone. I'm afraid to look at the toy store. Oh, please, oh, please, still be there. Can I just get this job, this one thing? It's closed? Maybe Gilligan is just late this morning. What do I do now? Maybe the coffee shop is open. Oh, look, there's Sammy. I wonder what he thinks of all this. Hi, Sammy. Phoebe, it's been a long time. Here, have a cup of coffee on me. So come on, what's the news? What are you up to? Well, I injured my knee twice and can't play soccer anymore. I'm just looking for something to do. With your energy, you'll be busy in a week. Mark my words. Oh, Sammy, I'm so glad you're open. You're still here. I can't believe the bookstore and the pizzeria have disappeared. What's with Scudder's? He just opened two years ago, and his store looks like Disneyland. It's huge. Is he rich or something? Oh, <laughs> something called investors. But don't get me started on that. What's this? Gaddon Insurance Group will be moving its headquarters to Middletown, and a search committee already has its eye on potential properties? They're saying that it will bring support for our local economy and attract the citizens we need? 
What's all this about? Bad news from Middletown, that's what. They're after every property they can find. Oh no. Do they have their eyes on the toy store? Uh, I don't know. But it sure is nice to see you, Phoebe. I know you'll bring some energy to this place. Oh, thanks, Sammy. I certainly hope so. I'm going to check out Reverend Tuck's sermon today. Dr. Barris said he's going to talk about climate change. Yes, good idea. Uh, I wish I could join you. My conscience is bothering me. But it's just too painful to watch Tuck try to reason with people who won't listen. You should go. This is important and a big deal now. Even here in Middletown? What do you mean? Well, the Half Moon River floods every month or so. But it's more than that. A lot of pieces to that puzzle. Things have really changed around here. Hmm. Well, I'm going to head over to the church. It was good to see you again, Sammy. I'll be back. Take care, kiddo! Now let the reverend talk. Who cares? No one believes in their stuff. Don't you think there's something to this whole climate change thing? He called it a sin. Talk's a fool. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But the river is rising. It did flood the cemetery. What does Tuck know about it? He shouldn't be telling us what to do. A fool! A jerk! How this town tolerates him is more than I can say. Here's what I think of his proposal! He'll never join us. Him and a few others I could name. This game has gone on long enough. It's time to take their pieces off the board. Bentley! I must find the source. I don't know. There's got to be something in it, don't you think? Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of confusing factors. Uh, you see what I mean? He's persuading them already. Tuck is dangerous. I'm telling you, him and the rest of that group leave us only one option. In fact... I've got an idea. Reverend Tuck is dangerous? To who? I've known him my whole life. Hmm. What's this? We believe that human activity is changing the climate and environment of our Earth and destroying countless species of plants and animals at an accelerating pace. We believe that this destructive activity constitutes a sin. Wow, this is really big. A sin? No wonder these people ran out of church. I need to hear more of this. This is the good news. God loves the world. And we are called upon to help save the world in all its glory, with all its wealth of life and strange beauty. Every kind of life is precious. Every species that grows or swims or flies or runs on the earth has a place in God's eyes. Destroying Mother Earth is a sin. We must change. We must change before it's too late. We must protect our rivers, forests, and small farms in Middletown. My dear brothers and sisters, everything. Everything is at stake. Soon the stakes will include everything. Let us be his stewards on earth. The church stood perfectly still and silent. Phoebe could hear her heart thumping loudly inside. The eerie feelings from the voice from her dream 
rang through her head. Whoa, I can't believe Reverend Tuck said all that. In college, people were debating climate change and challenging the science behind it. But to take a stand on climate change at church and to call it a sin? But who are we to take on such a problem? It affects the whole world. Alice Geddon hasn't bought the gift shop. Whoa! Best prices offered for Dreamstone? Any quantity, jewelry, or raw stone? My sister was right! Everyone is looking for Dreamstone! Now, I really, really hope the toy stores open. It seems like all the locally owned shops are closed. What's going on here? Oh no! Could it be closed? Forever? Don't you think together we might find a way? Say, we can make it happen today. Oh, yeah. Life could be wonderful and terrible too just about anything can happen to you, you, you. i say it matters it matters what we do